I think that's all stories. They, they're actually, um, they're all for us, right? Like they, they, I think animation gives you the illusion that it's for children, but it's actually everything that you read and the plot lines always stay the same. So whether it's a kid's book or whether it's an adult fiction, you find, or even if it's human tragedy, we follow the same patterns on things like, and I think that that's why it's very easy for us to relate to children's stories because you get to the essence of it very quickly. Like there's no complex language getting you to the essence of what is being said or what is being felt. And I think that that there's a lot from children's books. And I think I'm, I'm the ultimate adult kid. I still love to play. I love toy stores. I love being on all fours with my kids and just getting on their level. Like, I think there's just like, it's a great way to connect with the world. I love driving my kids to school and just like stopping and really paying attention to what we're seeing, you know, like, the, you know, you remind yourself that my daughter doesn't know what a Bougainvillea is and why is this one pink and why is this one orange, you know, and, and they're paying attention to the world in like completely new ways, but it's so refreshing to step back from it and think about these things. And so, you know, we get caught on like our phone or like on our general commute and we drive the same routes every single place that we go. And we have these automatic filters that are filtering out a lot of the wonder of the world, but kids don't haven't built those filters yet. So then they remind you to sort of check in. And then if you can just bring some of that daily behavior back, you feel, you feel great. Like, you know, like you jump on a scooter on the way to work. Like we've got these electric scooters here in Lisbon and you cruise down and you're like, Oh, this is a really beautiful city. And then you look at the buildings, like it's stop and like take it in. And I think that that's something to remove the filters in our lives is like a really critical thing to do. And kids can teach us to do that. And so can their books. Yeah, kids can can definitely teach us a lot. Eh? Um, yeah, you know, Maya has been like the biggest reminder for me about actually how much I I used to love playing, you know, and like playing in water and and making mud and just like, oh man, seeing the world through their eyes is literally the best thing ever for for an adult. After like years and years of almost like programming and losing kind of your curiosity a little bit and your playfulness, and it's like okay, cool. Now she's reminding me who I actually am and I'm going to be that person again. Yeah. And I think that that's a, it's just in the relationships that you have with people, like they get, they get heavy over time. They get heavy with competition, like how you did after school or, you know, like who made the first team or whatever it is. Like as you get older, your adult relationships get really complex, but my kids have reminded me how valuable the relationship with my brother and my cousins were you know like how we used to play all the time and how much how much we used to appreciate each other and then all the old jokes and i often find myself after playing with my kids or watching them play with each other with their cousins sending a message to my cousin or my brother saying do you remember when we did this thing like like that's the thing and i think that it it really does let you become young again and let your mind plug back into your youth it reminds me my cousin He's about three years older than me, uh, Justin, and his his sister Natalie. Obviously, also my cousin. They're a few. They're she's and she's even older than than that. Um, but they they were like, <laughs> they used to they used to say to me, Gareth, what is that on your face? And I'll be like, What are you talking about? They're like, It's Kaki Loris. I'm like, What what what's Kaki Loris? And it was just this like total made up thing. You know what I mean? And I had to remind them recently because we started like this, this family Zoom like during COVID and stuff and uh, everyone around the world would phone in and stuff. And then we were just reminding each other about stories and, and that one came up and I was like, oh yeah, I remember you guys were quite big bullies actually. Used to used to get me scared about Kaki Loris on my face. <laughs> and we had a good laugh about that. 